River State Governor Nyesom Wike on Sunday supervised the demolition of two hotels in LMA and One for violating the Executive Order 6 of the state government, which banned the operation of hotels in the state. The affected hotels, Prudence Hotel Alode in LMA and Etemete Hotel in One, were said to have been operating despite the Executive Order barring all hotels in the 23 local government areas of the state from opening for business to check the spread of COVID-19. Now, Wike, after monitoring the exercise, maintained that the law must be obeyed, hence the state government's decision to enforce it. The governor disclosed that those involved in the crime would be prosecuted, adding that the managing director of the hotel in Oné has been arrested. Joining us live in the studio is legal practitioner Liberos Oshoma to take a look at these matters. Uh, how do you react when you saw that, first of all? Yeah, my first reaction was um, that this is outrageous display of irresponsibility on the past of Governor Wiki. It was highly so? responsible of him. Um, now I hear he's talking about prosecuting the owners of the hotel. The owners of the hotel. So after you have passed judgment, so what are you going to prosecute? You passed judgment, you've demolished the hotel. It's like killing a man and then subsequently saying you want to prosecute him. Right. You know, so, and the people like Wiki should be, I, I would advise the owners of the hotel to approach the court immediately and claim damages. And, and Should they claim damages when they flouted the law? I'm not saying well, that's the best. I will get to that. Okay. I will get to that. Unfortunately, at the end of the day, Wiki will not be paying for this from his pocket. It is taxpayers' money from River State that will be used to pay for those damages. That is because, if they get to because that point. Anyways. under which law are we talking about now? Was a law validly passed by River State government that, you know, um, uh, everybody should sit at home. Really, Wiki is operating under an executive order. And even if, let's assume that that executive order is even a law validly passed, mm -hmm. Wiki as executive governor can only execute that law. He has no power to pronounce, you know, judgment in respect of that law. He will still have to resort to a court of competent jurisdiction to convict that person and then the court will not make a pro pronouncement that the hotel should be demolished or that the person you know that have viol violated that law should be so so um, uh, uh, punished be that as it may an executive order has pronounced by the court of appeal good enough even the judge that made that pronouncement i was part of this the, the hearing of that case in faith okafo and governor of lagos state was from river state yeah. it's from river state bill Bele got god's will and then the court heard because the law is what the court says it is the lagos state government issued an executive order okay. in 2016 restricting movement during environmental sanitation and faith okafo you know was arrested for uh, uh, flouting that law and he was charged and he challenged that law in court and the court of appeal heard that an executive order nobody can be arrested or even prosecuted on the basis of an executive order because so allowing such would mean that uh, you, you, are, you, are, you are concentrating too much powers in the hands of a governor. And mm -hmm. we all know that absolute powers corrupt absolutely. absolutely. And, and sure. so, on the basis, Wiki has no power to arrest anybody on the basis of even his executive orders. The worst he can do is compel or uh, uh, plead with people to obey. Yes, it is good for people to obey rules and regulation, being a governor. Yes, make people understand the implication of the danger ahead. Look at what happened in Lagos State in Badagri. It's in your news. The Lagos State government has sealed the hotels. Mm -hmm. And then they, they will initiate prosecution. Look at also what happened with Fuke Akidele. Even though I, I condemn the Attorney General's um, Decision. You know, not decision, his attitude and the okay. crowd that he gathered. That but thing. the question is, they didn't demolish Fuga Kindele's house. Mm -hmm. he was, she was arrested and charged before a court of competent jurisdiction. And, and so a situation where a governor behaves like an emperor, mm -hmm. he should be condemned because he has no such powers. Even supervising the, the demolition means he has personal interest in the matter. This is beyond the realm well, of being an executive governor. Well, we're not sure what that His attitude, has. It has it, his attitude, you know, paint a picture of somebody who has a personal interest in the matter. Well, let's, let, let's move forward a bit from there, right? Um, 
Does that give, uh, is there a justification? Uh, because those who were arrested by him were released by a senior police officer. Uh, is that a justification that he isn't supposed to do that in the first place? Because. And if it is, how should it have been handled? Because they flouted the law. I'm not saying that's the best way, but how could this have you been You keep managed? talking about flouting a law, flouting a law, and I is ask it, you which law? I mean, Executive but, order. The governor said, you, you know, I have never seen the whole world and even in countries like Italy, when they have even more severe cases, the lockdown was not as severe as the one imposed on the people that he's supposed to be, whose welfare and security is supposed to be responsible for. A situation where you ask people not even go out to buy food, mm -hmm. where you ask people not to even step out to buy drugs. And then you, 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 you say you are responsible for their welfare. And then it's because the police officer knows the positions of the, I'm ashamed that Wiki is a lawyer like me. I'm, a, I'm ashamed to call him a yeah, Leonard colleague. Because I was going to ask who's because he should, him. Because he should know. And I expect, you know, people in River State, where you have a former a a a MBA chairman, a very senior lawyer, who is also, who is said to be close to, to Wiki, OCG Okocha, people like that should have told Wiki that this is not the right thing to do. You know, because if you, if you encourage such impunity, mm -hmm. The, the day will come where you will have a governor. All he will simply do is to follow in, in the excesses of Wiki. So the police officer knows that what Wiki, the governor, is doing is unlawful. And so to that extent, he decided to use his discretion to act duly under the law. And, 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 and so it shouldn't be excused in any way. Because a, a situation where a governor begins to behave like an emperor, he has left the realm of constitutionality. Mm -hmm. Even if, let's assume, that a law had been breached and violated, the worst you can do is to arrest these people and bring them before a court of competent jurisdiction. A situation where you begin to arrest people indiscriminately and send, even without testing, mm -hmm. you send them to isolation center. What are you trying to prove? Are you an emperor or a governor? So you think who is this, a, a, who the is, extremes who is, are too these much? Are, these are extremes, and it shouldn't be encouraged. And I will advise everybody that had suffered this impunity, that had suffered this illegality in the hands of the governor, you know, to, to approach the court for remedy. Because let's even assume you have the State House of Assembly in your pocket, you have the judiciary in your pocket. Just pretend to, you know, charge them. You, you can... You, you can, you can stage manage, but let the, the institutions of government work. A situation where we are trying to build institution, then you're encouraging a strong, st one man to be stronger than the institution. Mm -hmm. So what are we trying to prove? Now you have demolished the property, you say you want to charge the owners of the property. Under which law? To which court? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so, for me, I feel ashamed today calling myself a lawyer you know, in the mode of uh, Governor Wiki, and then you, you, you look at yourself, because people will point accusing fingers, I, I suspect he's a lawyer, and the world is watching, with a click of the button, people know what is going on around the world, and then you see, you, you know, a governor supervising the demolition of a property without a court order. The question has been asked, has Wiki ever done business before? Mm -hmm. If he has done business before, he would understand what it is, and what it takes to set up a business. And so if any business violates the laws of the land, there are procedures. You arrest the owners of such business. You charge them before the court. If anybody violates your, your orders, mm -hmm. you can, at, rather than just arrest them and send them into isolation centers without care, without medications, without even testing, you can arrest them and take them for testing. Right. And or you arrest them and ask that they be quarantined. Mm -hmm. Or you charge them before a, a mobile court, if you set up a mobile court for that uh, uh, purpose. But a situation where you just arrest indiscriminately, you become the, 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 the lawmaker, it was the law you made, you execute the law, you are the one that will charge the person and pronounce him guilty. Such does not and cannot exist in Nigeria. Right. All right, let's move a bit on to... Um the situation still in, in River State. Um, now there's a lockdown, and how are these people supposed to, I, I mean, how are they supposed to get the palliatives, the so-called palliatives and efficient uh, uh, effects you, you, of see, it, you, if you, all of this is happening from the big man, so to speak? This is, um, unfortunately, the kind of country we find ourselves, where a governor thinks, you know, he knows it all, and that his words should be law, and that he's not guided by law, and yet he's sworn to uphold the law. 
and I expect that with this lockdown that we can should be sharing palliatives mm. house to house. And I, I expect that by now, River State will be boasting of the palliatives that they have given to everybody because you've asked them to sit at home and nobody should move. I expect that by now, River State will be boasting of facilities that they have established to treat you know, emergency cases of COVID-19. That's not the case. What's in the news is demolition mm -hmm. and indiscriminate arrest by the governor. That's not how to be a governor. And that's not how to protect people that you have sworn you know, to take care of. You ask people to sit at home. There are essentials. World over, there are essential services. Right. There are medicals are essential. Feeding are essential. That is why some of us have argued that hunger is a worse virus, virus than COVID-19. So, to that extent, allow people to assess food. To that extent, allow people to have palliative. Those that cannot afford it, allow them, or you distribute palliatives. Is the governor, is it not an irresponsibility on the part of the governor that you ask your people that you're supposedly protecting to sit back at home mm -hmm. and yet you have nothing for them and those that, are, that even bother to step out to look for something to eat, you arrest them and throw them into the stadium, you call a quarantine center with no testing facilities and no food. And what if these people die of hunger? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and so I, 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 I think our leaders, I'm ashamed to call him a leader now, our rulers, because he's behaving like a ruler. I think they should be advised. They should be told that worst case he has four years more and these same people will write his history. What will be his history when he leaves that office? He should be bothered about that. Very important question there. Thank you so very much. We believe that the events in the River State will be unfolding and will follow up. Thank you, liberals, for your time.